Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. Last time we explored this lovely little dwarven kingdom, uh, well, of uh, the past, because uh, everybody seems to be dead, but it was uh, kind of a nice story. This uh, kingdom was ruled by a dwarven king that uh, actually didn't like to do anything else but uh, gather very dangerous creatures. <sighs> Um, so yeah, my save point was right next to the chest we opened last time. And uh, yeah, he lost more and more of his people to the hunts he forced them to go on to capture the dragon and the troll we fought. But uh, yeah, in the end he lost so many people that his kingdom just died off. And uh, yeah, the only thing that remains is this, uh, this little valley with the dragon we just set free and the troll we brutally murdered, kind of. What happened to all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. We are missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for chain dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this dwarf king. Oh, that is interesting. So I just assumed that everybody, well, the, the kingdom kind of died off because more and more people died because of those hunts. But yeah, that's actually an interesting point that we just don't have the clue to figure out definitively what actually happened here. Uh, I'm just going to take a look around because I think I still didn't open up one of the chests. Aha, there we go. There's the last one. Third seal destroyed, and now I can open up the chest. Don't want to leave uh, too many stones unturned in this, uh, well, neither in this area as in the entire game, of course. So uh, try, I'm always trying to be as thorough as possible. So collected two out of three horns of blood meat needed to increase my maximum rage. Um, and on that front, uh, I said last time that we were going to go to the Witch of the Woods, but I feel like I'm kind of... Uh, well, I, I do want to explore the lake fully, so and I, since we only did about half of the lake by now, I think we'll still be uh, yeah, busy with a, a whole lot of activities around the lake by the time we get to the witch. But it's not like these side areas aren't interesting, because uh, last time we just uh, defaced a statue of Thor and freed the dragon instead of killing it this time. So uh, that's interesting. Let's head back to the lake. So, back in oh. the lake, and what other stories have yeah, you another story. One more. There was the story of the mother crab, who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward, in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab too. He should say, sure, I'll look forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, he did say that. That was the story. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Okay then, I'm just gonna dock here really quickly because we need to talk to the spirit that we got the, the quest from where we needed to uh, deface the statue of Thor, destroy it completely, so uh, hello sir. There. Have you destroyed the statue? Indeed we did. The statue stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond of this realm is severed, and I am off to find the real god of thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude. You're welcome. Favor complete. Hammer fall. Goes. Offering to tear. Want to look for Thor on his own. All right. He is a fool. He is a fool. Okay. Um, Where did the spirit leave us? An offering to one of the gods. Can we use it? No, but perhaps the dwarves can. Oh. Craft Tyr's armor. Bring Tyr's offering to Brock or Sindri. Modric always said Tyr was among the most beloved of the gods. Mortals would sail from all over the world world to visit his temple and bring him offerings. It seems as if the spirits we've met in the Lake of Nine were among those who worship the god of law and heroism. These offerings are really nice. I bet Brock or his brother could turn them into something useful like armor. Huh. So I'm guessing it will pay off to explore the lake fully. And I know I said about half of the lake. I'm pretty sure we're only a quarter of the way there. So yeah, we'll see how far we uh, can get in this episode. So moving along the edges again on the right. And I'll let you guys know once I find something. 
And literally a few feet away, there's another dock here. So let's take a quick look at what is here. Yeah, the, the severed head every time, that's also a very nice touch. Elevator, going up. What wonderful stories Light had, because I really like it that the side stories also have... Yeah, well, the side quests have their own story bits. Ooh. So there's a realm Ooh, tear. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to do anything Almost. with that. If we could just find the other pieces of the language disc. Okay, there's a fast travel point here as well. And then the other side of the... Because we're right at one of the bridges, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's check out the realm tear. Oh, that's red. That doesn't look good. Oh. Oh, okay. I can deal with that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh crap. There we go. Oh, that's that the heavy one just dropped on the edge. Whoa, he came from a very far. Um up. And he's gone. And up. And he's gone as well. Okay. Is that it? Enemies down indeed, okay. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this game, by the way. Not that that's an excuse for anything, but uh, yeah, could have gone a bit smoother there. Let's try this again. And we got more Dust of Realms, okay, fair enough. There we go, closed 4 out of 18. I was hoping we could get another language cipher from that, but uh, this seems to be all there is. And this gate has been completely shut down. Fair enough. Moving along. Okay, we're passing by a bit of the snake, but there's another sort of... Huh. This looks like this was once a one gate. More one more. There is a tale about a woodsman. He asked the trees of the forest for a branch to make a handle for his axe. But instead, the trees gave him a young sapling so they could keep their limbs. The woodsman made his axe, and then he returned and chop down the oldest trees in the forest. Hmm. Just because trees are old doesn't mean they're smart. Okay, that was a uh, an interesting moral to the story there. Another bridge. Because it does, didn't seem like I could do anything with the, uh, the closed off gate. So let's head up and see what we can do here. Because we're right next to the snake right now. Yeah, they're okay. Enemies. <laughs> Oh crap, okay. Up, 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 up. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's a... The tempo is a bit off here. Oh, gold. There we go, and then... Okay, that takes a while. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> ah, that was stupid. So, note to self, if I use the, um, the light ruining attack I have equipped right now, it takes a hell of a long time for the axe to come back. But, try to get, because it really works well. And... So now I need to be back, and then... Ooh, I got all my health back as well. That doesn't seem entirely fair, but... And up, two, three. Okay, there we go. That was a bit smoother than the first time around. There we go, and another bit of... Another ship head. Yeah. Good. Fair enough. Fair enough. Still can't read any of these things I can't probably. Translate this without the whole cycle. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh. There seems to be a lot more on this side of the snake. This thing is huge, by the way. Holy crap. Okay. Let's go down. Except I can't go down because there's no. There's no lever or anything. That is weird. 
And I can't get past here because of the snake. There actually is no elevator. The elevator is gone. Okay. I'm guessing that's gonna have to wait until later on then. Moving on. So, what other stories have you got? One more. There was once a scorpion who used to travel to the other side of a river. Why? If you continue to interrupt, I will end the story. Okay, okay. The scorpion asked the frog for help. He told the frog that if he gave him a ride across the river on his back, he would be rewarded. The frog protested, fearing the scorpion would sting him. The scorpion assured the frog that he would not sting him, or they would both drown in the river. The frog agreed. But halfway across the river, the scorpion stung him. The frog was mortally wounded, and they both sunk to the bottom of the river and perished. That's sad. Why would the scorpion do that? He was a scorpion. It is his nature to do harm. Oh. That's just what Mom used to say about the gods. Your mother always spoke the truth. Okay then, I know that story, but I never <laughs> stories. saw the uh, the link there with the gods, of course. Um, is that guy real? No. Okay, can I actually pull him off his feet like that? Not really, but... Uh, oh, oh. should have ran away. Oh god. And we go. Ah, uh, one, two, three. There we go. Taken care of. We are done here. We are. No, there's a there's a chest here, Kratos. We need to open that up. There we go. Carousel done and chest opened. I think if it's a uh, horn, we're pretty much done for another uh, rage upgrade. No, nope, it's an apple. Two out of three apples, so next time we definitely get an upgrade, regardless of what it is. Seems like there's another realm there up there as well. We can hey, look. climb a there torch. easily. A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Yeah, sure. Does that mean we're gonna get fire arrows eventually Come as well? In. Um, um, two, three, and uh, no, one, two, three, and smack, one, okay, and there we go, and blammo, and then this one, off his feet again, no, okay, never mind, I wonder what happened to the rule as to... Oh, yeah, there we go. The frost guys I couldn't use my uh, axe on. Um, so I think I'm just gonna throw that away and just punch. Three and oh. One, two, three and oh. There goes one. I can punch this guy in the rock. And grab and space smash. And my axe back. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, and the brazier lit. Hey, it's another spirit. Come now. I don't fight. Seriously, you look a bit more evil than the previous spirit we had a chat with, but hi. You're dead? You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Ah. Farewell. Okay, glad we could help. Explore the islands of the lake. 
Uh, and we got a versatile warrior's handle. Increases strength, defense, and luck upgrade to increase additional stats. Oh, he disappeared. That's just plus two on everything, but the grip I have now is plus six on everything, so... No. And I've seen that explosion of shock damage happening a few times already, since we got that from the... The troll last time. Come. Let us not be distracted. So it one out of four spirits freed. We did free the other spirit by, uh, well, destroying Thor's statue. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely do that along the way, I suppose. And he was talking about the spirits all being around the Lake of Nine. So I'm guessing that we're, uh, we still are three spirits short on the lake itself. So another ship head, I think. Yeah, indeed. It's gonna give us a pretty penny, I think. Once we get that back, and then we have the chest over here, which is another Stab the Mask chest. But there we go, usually there's a few nice things in there as well. Hey, yes! This is more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire realm? What? You can now read the language of Muspelheim. You can now access Muspelheim from the realm travel room. Okay. That is cool. Um, so I need to head back to the few bridges we've seen before now to just read the messages there. Um, and I guess we'll do just that. Uh, you know what? I'm first gonna do that. Just go back to the few bridges we've been to this episode. Just read the messages there. Yeah, I can actually activate the boat so, without activating that person. I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. Indeed. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. <laughs> what was that, boy? Nothing. I you will get much. over these feelings. Boy, do you remember which is port and which is starboard? Oh, I think so. Port is left, and starboard is right. Right? Not your right. Where the boat faces, port is left, and starboard, starboard is, is right. Right, I knew that. Okay. I did. <laughs> I wonder if the world serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here. So it's it's really cool that they've added so much dialogue to keep you busy during the uh, the boat sequences. Because yeah, I hardly have to cut any of that because they're just bantering away. Ah, oh, I can read what this says now. But it's a name. Air! Whoa! The name oh. made it light up! It is not a name I know. Me neither. So one out huh. of eight. Light tears braziers on the realm towers around the Lake of Nine. Fair enough. So those are braziers of Tear, the good gold we've been hearing stuff about. Okay, so I don't need to I only need to read one of the few um This didn't change anything, did it? didn't give me no there's still no elevator over here which is yeah sad because there's like a lot of space over there so maybe that will come back to us once we maybe the serpent will move at some point we'll see so next one another name geardrifal so we have air and geardrifal does that because there were two sets of golds if i'm not mistaken and maybe those are the names of those golds. I guess we'll see later on. Um, I know there's a few more bridges on the center bridge. But I'm first going to head further along the, uh, the edges of the lake. So there is actually also a bridge end over here. So where we found the green spirit. But I can't seem to access this one either. Because there's no real path around. So, uh... The world serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. Yeah, he's really, really big. That's kind of an understatement. But there's also a cave over there. Can't, can't get too distracted now. There's a cave underneath the world serpent. This doesn't seem like such a bright idea, but um, let's just bump into a few chests over here. Because we can actually get loot from that. And that's a rock. That's not something lootful. Fafnir's Ravine. Fafnir. Okay, this place is bigger than I thought, because I thought the, the serpent would have been blocking this, but apparently not. 
Let's head in. Fafnir's storeroom. Storeroom, wait. Is that? Oh, that's the storeroom from uh, Sindri's quest then. Oh, okay. Treasure Interesting. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. So we did hear the name uh, Fafnir before. I was completely wrong on that account. Because that's of course Sindri's favor. So that means we need to definitely explore this place a bit. I don't know why I'm still doing that. I mean the hack silver we get from that is really, really minimal. But still, still. Vaults! Or chests. There we go. More hack silver probably. Yeah, there we go. Ah, more pulse. Wouldn't want to leave those around. I said wouldn't want to leave those behind. Thank you. And another tunnel. So I'm guessing these these like tunnel sequences are a bit of like loading screens for the game to load in the next bit of the level. There we go. Nice light bridge. So that's a... Uh, a bit of a skill check, I'm assuming, so you need the light arrows to actually come in here. And we have another fast travel point, interesting. Hey, ah, Sindri. Sindri. Could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. So we have the talk symbol. Ah, offerings to Tyr. These are quite rare, you know. Why? Well, you know Odin, not the biggest fan of Tyr. I thought he destroyed all of these. Okay. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a whetstone? You know, dude, you're right in front of the entrance of the storeroom. How big is this thing? Just gonna check out his inventory and uh, I'll be right back. Holy crap, I can actually craft something with this. With offering to Tyr. Tyr's lost unity gauntlets. I lose a lot of runic, but um, I'm, 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 think I'm thinking this is really worth it because I get 18 defense. Which is only one more than the the one I already have equipped, but yeah, just check the other categories. This is the only thing I can actually make with this, so I don't suppose you can try keeping that clean. There we go. Blessed with Tears Luck. Equip. And they look pretty flippin' awesome. And I'm actually gonna craft a superior fighter tunic for Atreus as well. Because he's uh, really, really being uh, a lot of help in fights lately. There we go. Equip. Great increases Atreus's melee damage. Back to you. There we go. Both uh, of us have a, a nice upgrade. Look at him now. He looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. So more cults everywhere. We will, Sindri. We will. Indeed, because you you got a lot of hacks over from us already. More cults. No, more cults. There we go. So that was the new attack. I actually rarely use that, so I need to. Start trying that out, so delaying my second attack, so that I can change my stance. Just quickly gonna try that again, so a hit, and then that. Interesting. That's really, really cool. And while we're on the subject, let's get uh, take a look at our skills again. So I'm gonna unlock the returning whirlwind, so I can recall the axe faster, so that should be a nice addition. And we have the stand, so that's the sweeping attack. So that's really nice. And I can upgrade that further Why? with follow-up attacks. While in switched stand, so I can really clear out enemies from around me there. So that's just the heavy version of that attack. But this one is really, really cool. And I need a level 5 axe to do anything else there. Then we have powerful shoulder ram, which is really, really as well I think and then maybe check out Atreus's moves just increase the shock damage to enemies there we go cleared out all our experience again we can uh, move on upgrade it again this looks like a very nice forest by the way so we're right behind the world serpent now there goes another eye of Odin Odin's raven down and ooh a treasure a treasure 1,338 Haxel, that's not one of the treasure chests then, I suppose. It's just something that was uh, uh -oh. underground. Must have gotten here first. Yeah. Which uh, 
means that we're gonna be in for quite a fight because those guys can actually change oh no wait those are drawers why did they say reavers then where are those drawers no reavers were the people the people that atreus got his first kill on and just swipe that off his feet There's a few. There we go. And then this one over here. Okay, so they are nightmares here. There we go. I didn't see that one coming. Where's the other one? There we go, level one. It should be down with one extra. And then that one just taken out from afar. There we go. Okay. So they're pretty low level, so I'm assuming we should be doing these favors a little sooner than that than the point that we're doing them at. Because, uh, yeah, this seems pretty easy health and damage-wise on these enemies. Another chest on an, uh, a bit of an elevated position, which just gives us more... Ooh, soft fart of Heimsteel. Well, I guess just in case we need more. Because, uh, yeah, indeed, this is a, a bit of a bigger area. This must be more hack silver, I suppose. So there's a chest over here. And I see two of the bells immediately. Ah, and there's the last one. So if I just hit that one that? first. Did I hit it? I don't think I hit it. A bit higher, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Ah, crap. There we go. Chest opened. In the first sequence. And then we get an upgrade to... Our... Rage bar! Yay! Ooh, that's a lot of rage. Uh, so we've been up there. So that means we ought to go inside of the building or underneath the waterfall. Looks like maybe the waterfall keeps going while the building doesn't. Yeah. Let's just get in here first. Gather what we can. Locked. Find another entrance. Okay, so the door over here is locked. So that might be the point where we go out of the building again. So let's go through the waterfall and see what actually happened here. Because there's a lot of corpses here as well. So either Fafnir's storeroom has a lot of uh, defenses. But yeah, it seems like they were actually stabbed again. Hmm. Why do all these people fight each other? Just be nice, like Kratos. <laughs> Or not. Really, really not. Um, hmm. Use the entry stone on the pedestal. Okay, is this the door I couldn't open? I think it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the... Don't tell me. Oh, my fault. Okay, but it, this is... I don't know what the use of that is. Because well, something was killed here and then dragged over here. Or health stones that I don't need. There's a lot of space down below here. I'm, I have the feeling that something might pop up. But here. scroll. Boy. That might give us a bit more information. Another map. That will find something useful here. Oh, it's another treasure map. Let's just quickly check it out. Don't blink. A legendary enchantment. And a glacial catalyst, whatever that might be, but also two solid Spartalfheim steel. My journey will be long and I can only carry the essentials. I leave my possessions under the watchful eyes of the face of stone until I return. Oh, that's underneath the mountain. The mountain where the smoke was coming out. We can pay that a visit later on. Just gonna put that in here. Hmm. Fafnir's hordes. See how long this Looks takes. Like the made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. 
So yeah, indeed, there still are people running around here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. If this is pretty much the same length as Brock's favor, I think we'll be able to cram this into this episode. Nope. He's gonna explode. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I don't have the axe. Don't have the axe, don't have the axe. Smack, 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 smack. Oh, yeah, wow, he doesn't. And, uh, boom, 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 boom. Ah, this one's level 4, that might actually explain a bit of things. I'm just gonna kill this guy first. Damn it. The other one, come on, this one. There we go. And then, okay, never mind. Taken care of. Okay, crap. That was, uh... Just some stupid pots. Draugr. No magical treasure. No what? Keep your expectations low, boy. And you will never be disappointed. <laughs> um, Kratos, that, that doesn't really make much sense in your case, since you've, uh, told your son over there a lot of times already that you're really disappointed in him. Another keystone. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to swap that... Wait, what was that? Outstone. There was also another bit of armor that I could give Atreus that gave the uh, Heldstones a bit more potency, which would be nice on the higher difficulties even. Well, higher than this one. So the uh, give me gold of war difficulty. So I'm guessing we can just put that in here again. Oh! Nope. Off the cliff. And off the cliff. There. <laughs> Okay, that was brutal, but uh, effective. They brutal, but effective. You off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you kind of proved his uh, his point over there. Was this one also creating symbols? Or yeah, I can't really see that anymore since that bridge is now completely gone. Okay, opening. Can you actually read that? No. Never mind. Kind of feels like we're just gonna go through challenge room of the challenge room, so... Okay, who the hell are you? Oh, he just one shot at me. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Okay, so they do indeed regenerate the health. Fuck me. So that one's down. That one's down as well, he's gonna explode. Yeah, fuck me, I was stuck in a corner. I think I'm actually invincible during animations. There we go, and then the one, and I can grab him as well. Okay. Now, this guy. Should I maybe, I can actually do the wolves. Yeah, he doesn't seem to care. Holy crap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. He's shot. And that was my ability. Ooh, okay. Shouldn't have probably pulled that back. And useful resources. The main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take some of Whetstone. Yes, indeed, because we're still here for the Whetstone and, of course, the treasure we can find. But this steel still seems a bit dry, of course. This is uh, supposed to be a treasure room, but yeah. Not, not much, uh, not much treasure around here. Let's get back to the center room and open up the next chamber. I'm guessing we're gonna get ambushed again now. This is gonna be uh, fight after fight. Putting that in, and oh, they're keeping us on our toes. Remember what I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Wait. Still, good feeling. Isn't that the room we've been to already? I'm just gonna take that Heldstone as well. 
I also got uh, an enchantment on my new gauntlets, which uh, gives me the unstoppable aura after I'm sprinting for three seconds. Which uh, just causes me to not be interrupted during my attack, so I still take damage, but I'm, uh, my attacks won't be interrupted. Okay. And there we go, and smack. Walk that just in time. Okay, two revenants. And smack. Okay. Oh, I blocked that. But smack, 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 smack. Oh, I'm standing in the poison top. Ooh! What the hell happened there? So that's one down, and then the other one. Come on, come on. And smack. Okay. Yeah, these fights are not getting easier. What do we do over here from the one I smacked inside? Because that was a very cool. Because my uh, my new talisman ability is like a stunning attack, which just gives him like a little push with the shield. But it looks a lot more impressive if you do that to a revenant. Because I think revenants are supposed to be a little lighter. Which gives them a really, really big push if you just hit them in the face. Um, how do I get... How do I get that? Can I seem to get that over there? Might have been in a bit of the uh, revenant that was pushed over there. Sadly, sadly I can't get that. But we got ourselves a new keystone. Though, so that should be fine to head this inside the next chamber. Oh, more enemies. Off their feet. And then uh, one, two. And projectile back in the face. There we go. Let's put I that back in here. This time. I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack. Hmm. Sure is a lot to remember. Well, I'm guessing it becomes second nature after a while. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. Flam, 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 flam. Okay, what the f fucking hell? Okay, Jesus Christ. On wolves! On wolves! Jesus Christ, I have no health. But there are health stones over here. Oh, fuck me! So, fellas, what do you think about the wolf room? Oh, for fuck's sake, I really don't like it. I really don't like it. Uh, let's get that in there. Where's the other one? Where's the wolf? Where's the big one? Totally lost the big wolf. No, I'm not okay. Definitely not okay. So, get my axe ready this time. Don't get bitten in the, a the arm immediately upon entering the room. And we should be fine. For fuck's sake! What the hell? Do it! Do it! Fuck me! Fuck me! Get me out of here! There 
There we go. Um, boom. Yes, keep focus, keep focus. They really don't like throwing attacks. There we go. Okay, that was a bit of uh, crowd control. And only one room left. Okay. You think we'll find it there? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember low expectations. Really should remember low expectations. A bit like my uh, my performance in this room. That was also uh, pretty much low expectations. <laughs> ah, let's stay calm. Yeah, I just want to take the keystone, but if you Happy to just keep smacking around on the health stones, it's fine by me as well. But, lost room apparently. Huh, what will that be? Because we had normal Draugr, heavy Draugr, wolves and revenants. So... Next up is a boss fight then? All, right. all, all our abilities are back aside from the shield smash. Which is fine by me. Here we go. Okay, this definitely looks like a boss room. What's gonna drop down? Three, two, one. And there's chests on the side here. This room is way too big to just be holding treasure. There we go. Wrath of Frost Inch of the Frost Ancient. Powerful Ice Beam. Oh wow. That is cool. And it does quite a bit of damage as well. But you need to aim it, so I think you're pretty vulnerable while you're doing it. Um, just gonna keep that around for now. Fine. Piss off, then. Wait, what? So, you're back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... I didn't even hear your <sighs> first conversation, you? buddy. The Reaver Spirit. For a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it. Right before stabbing me in the back. Oh. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Mm. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? That's a lovely sentiment. Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Seriously? And whose dagger will help? The man hey, just killed it's you. It's mine! Hey! <laughs> Come, boy. We are leaving. We are leaving. Empty-handed. So... Nope. Nope. What? Oh, for fuck's sake, no. Um. Um, let's just... Wait, what? That, that attack. That attack, thank you. Let's just do the wolves. Switch to stun arrows, because I think I might be able to... Okay, I tried to jump out of the way of that. Seriously? Just keep circling, just keep circling, just keep circling. Don't look back. The other one is pretty weak, so I might actually focus on him first. Because I think this should do the trick. Still those little guys just crawling around here. There we go. Smack. Took that to the face. And let's grab him in the face. And ride the big boy. Yep. Hit on your brother. Yeah, I'm just gonna get him to death health and then use him to... Yeah, no, just tear his head open. There we go. Smack him again. And straight on to the other one. I can actually bury these guys, which is... 
two bits, but there we go. Seriously, is that that the thing is still alive? Goodbye. But we are stronger. Wait, does that mean there's still more enemies? No. Symbol of courage. And then we have soft spark of time steel, like a bunch of it. And a lot of other stuff. Holy crap. Just picking everything up here. Did that contain somewhere in there solid spark of time steel? I didn't think so. It was all soft. Um, but yeah, so with that all, I think I'm going to take a little break. So when we get back, we're going to talk to Sindri and see if we can find another way of helping him get that whetstone. So see you guys next time, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>